Hello, everybody. It is I, Professor Penguin. Oh god, there's a lot of players online. <laughs> Look at that, there's a hundred thousand players online. I didn't even notice. But uh, yes, I am here on Hypixel to play some games. Oh, look at my delivery man. I'm like, yeah, I claimed all my rewards. Oh, yeah, also, I bought MVP Plus because it was like seven fifty, And I'm like, I have free $10 from PayPal. I'm just going to spend this on this. And they're like, Ugh. All right, anyway, Skywars. Oh, yeah, I changed my MVP Plus, my Plus logo to yellow. Because it looks better than the, the red, I think. All right, anyway, we're getting straight into it with some Sky Wars duels. And today, I'm going to be telling you a story. I don't know what the story is, but I'm telling you a story. That tells you about how much planning I put into each one of these videos. I'm coming up with a story on the spot. I'm so scared. This kid's going to just, like, come at me. Oh, he's actually sold his face. Are useless anyway. That's not true. Potions are very useful. But I don't need them. Just want to see. Alright. Mm. See, the thing about this is it's going to be so hard to tell a story because I'm going to be so stressed. That he's building a trap. 100%. El Baton. It is El Baton. Alright, well, I guess I won that round. Um, story, 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 what's a story? What's a fun fact? What's a story? Uh, alright. Not a lot of interesting things happen to me, but a lot of interesting things do happen to me when I'm, happened to me when I was younger, because I was a stupid child. This is when I was much, much younger. Uh, I don't know how old I was, but, um, I was bored. And I'm on the bus going to school because you know that's what kids do, right? That's what kids these days do. They go to school. Can I do who in? No, all right. Just it was weird. We go to school, you know, as most kids do. So I'm on the bus. I'm thinking, man, I am bored. I want to do something fun. And so I look to my left, and there is a person and nothing else. And then I look to my right, and there's a there's the aisle because that's right. I sat in the aisle seat. I was that kid. Actually, it was because the two people I sat with were twins, and they wanted to sit next to each other. I'm like, you know, yeah, that's fair. But, um, so what happened was, I know, I was bored, so I'm like, huh. So I look down at my lap, and I see, ooh, seatbelt. This seems like a fun toy. This was not a fun toy, which I would soon learn in the most painful of ways. Because, you see... I decided, hmm, what should I do with this seatbelt? Ooh, I want to put my finger in it. Because, you know, I'm a kid. I want to touch everything. And so I just go, whoop, and I stick my finger in it. My entire finger. Down to the knuckle. If you don't know, that's not good. Ooh, fire one. Because, um, you know... That's like if I was wearing a ring, but it was a giant seat belt that was not supposed to go that low. And so I got I got small fingers, but I got big enough where they can get stuck. And so I'm like, all right. And as I feel it go over my knuckle, like my eyes just tear. I'm like, oh god. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking like, oh no, because I'm in pain now. And so I start crying, and like everyone's won't look at me because, like, yeah. We cry a lot. We were, because this was like very young age. It's like, I want to say probably possibly kindergarten, maybe first grade. And so I'm crying. Everyone's looking at me like, why is this kid crying? And then so like, they're like, all right, it's fine. So everyone's getting off the bus and I'm like trying to get off and I'm like, eh, eh. And they're like, oh, like the bus driver sees, oh. So I'm pretty sure the bus driver was pretty mad about this because, you know, and so they had to call an administrator to try and get it off, and they couldn't get it off. So they had to use a thing to cut the seatbelt. 
they had to cut the seatbelt. Uh, god dang, I hate grenade kits so much. They had to cut the seatbelt off, so I was still attached to the seatbelt, but now it wasn't attached to the bus. And then they called my, my parents, one of them had to go take me to the hospital. So, there I am, little me, crying, in the hospital, a giant seatbelt on my finger, and no explanation. Because I'd been crying so much, I couldn't even explain what I did, or explain my thought process. So, it just looked like, oh god, this kid is so stupid. That's, that's what it looked like, I was like, just a dumb kid. Which I was. But listen, I was bored. And the boredom of a kid is not something that can, that, that can be controlled. Especially if that young, I didn't even have impulse control back then, which is why I stuck my finger into a seatbelt. But anyway, so, normally when someone gets something like that stuck on them, they'd use a saw. But the problem was, like, like one of those saws that cut through metal, but the problem was how young I was and how small my fingers were, there was a high chance they would cut through my finger, and I'd lose a finger. And they didn't want to do that, because they'd be, well, they'd be liable for something there. Okay, that seems a bit not legit, but okay. Yep. So I'm sitting there, and they're like, we don't know what to do. Talking to my mom, like, we, don't, we don't know what to do. And they're, they're, so they had to get out, someone got out their phone, and they had to Google how to get a finger off a seatbelt, a, a finger out of a seatbelt. I'm like, <laughs> now obviously I did not have to think it was as funny then as I do now. Now I think it's hilarious about how dumb I was. But I, then all I could think about was, I'm in pain. And also, this is, I'm not sure if I mentioned this earlier, but this was my middle finger. So, like, you know. And at this time, I had known what a middle finger was. And why it was bad to just hold up your middle finger. So, you know. I was like, always, whenever I was trying to hold it, I had to, like, hold it up. But the problem was how big the seatbelt was. My one finger was, like, 15 inches away. Not a inches away, but, like, pretty far away from the finger, and it hurt. And I'm like, so they, they find it, they look it up, but this story's all over the place. So, and I'm like, oh no, what's gonna happen if, if, they, if they cut off my middle finger? How's that gonna work? Because I didn't know they were Googling at this time. I didn't know what they were doing. I thought I was just gonna lose my finger and I'd have to deal with it. I'd be like, oh no! But then, oh god, I hate that person. I don't know, I saw that. They betrayed me on the uh, SMP I got banned on, they, they destroyed our base. Die. But, um, so, yeah, they, I didn't know what was happening, and then, they, 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 uh, about, they already been there, like, 10, 20 minutes, at least, I don't know, I was young, I had no concept of time. Uh, but, uh, when I, they, when they, uh, put my finger, after, like, 20 minutes, they put my finger in ice-cold water. Now, obviously, I don't know why they were doing this, but apparently it was to shrink down my hand. You know, so it would slip out of the seatbelt, and it did work. One of my hands is now small, permanently smaller than my other one. Kind of funny. But, um, so they shrunk down my hand, and I was, my hand was in that cold water for, like, three hours. I remember falling asleep because I was just, <laughs> I was crying so much I passed out. It was beautiful. Or so I'm told, again, I don't really remember this story too well, because I was very young. But, um... Yeah, so my finger had been sh shrunk enough to be pulled out of there. And so, I'm like, wait, but... But, uh... I don't want to be constantly flipping people off because they needed to wrap my finger so it wouldn't just to make sure it would like <laughs> just to make sure it wouldn't like die or something. I don't remember why they had to wrap it, but they had to wrap it. And so, I, but wait, I don't want to be constantly flipping people off. And so they wrapped my finger, my other finger, with it, and I wasn't able to write for a little bit because they didn't they didn't wrap my index finger. They wrapped my uh, what's the finger called? Your ring, my ring finger. But uh, since since it was my ring finger, and I I write uh with my 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 thumb touching my middle finger, 
And so because because they were connected, I couldn't actually actually write well. So for like a week in school, I wasn't able to write. Yeah, that's 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 the whole story. It's stupid to me as a child. What's another story from my childhood? I don't really have a lot. Of, I don't really have a lot of stories, just like most people do. Ooh, you know, I'll tell you. Next, I'll tell you about my accidental theft of an expensive toy car. Yeah, I know that sounds very weird, but it's what happened. So basically, I was very young. This was just actually, I was actually much younger. Uh, this was when I was younger, uh, like in preschool, you know. And so I went to this preschool place, and I was playing. We had like our little recess thing after our lunch. We didn't really learn much today, though, after lunch anyway. Because it went, it went nap time, lunch, uh, a recess. Like, and then we just watched movies so our parents picked us up. And that's why I have almost perfect recollection of Kimanji. <laughs> um, but, so, uh, we're, I'm playing cars with these kids, and they kept just ramming the, their cars into me. And you see... That hurt. I see you. <laughs> that hurt. So what I did is I just put the car in my pocket. I don't know where this guy went. <laughs> so I put the car in my pocket and I was wearing jeans and I never wore jeans. But I was wearing jeans, and so I had pretty deep pockets, because jeans have deep pockets for some reason. So, after this, we go, we go watch our movie, and I completely forget about the car in my pocket. And so I, we, my dad takes me home, picks me up, we go home, and uh, it was late when we got home, because it was, it was like uh, the later months, like I want to say this was like fall, winter time. Yeah, it had to be because I was inside for recess. Oh god, I don't want that. But um, so we get home and I'm wearing I'm wearing this nice jacket, and I take it off and then I like, cause I think I had like something in my pocket. As well as it, and so I take that out, and I the car falls out with it, <clears throat> and my mom's like, "Uh, what's this?" And I'm like, "It's a toy." She's like, "Where'd you get it?" Uh, dad bought it. She's like, and so she asked my dad, "Did you buy him a toy car?" And she's like, and "He's like, uh, no." And so you see, what normally happened was uh, on my dad's days off, he would, I would spend the day with him instead of going to. Uh, what's it called? Preschool, because it, it was pretty much a daycare. Less, less of preschool, more of a daycare. But the next day was my day off, and so I wasn't going to be there, and they're like, hey. And so I, and then the next morning comes, and I walk in, and I'm wearing, like, like my real, my real clothes. Not my, not my clothes that I wore there. And my real clothes, they were styled. Because I was, I may have been, like, four, but I looked good when I was four. I don't actually know why I had, like, I just remember I was wearing, like, nice, fancy clothes for no reason. But, uh, so I walk in in my fancy clothes, my nice jacket, and my dad, and with my dad, and I just had to, like, I walked over the car back in the thing and walked out, completely silent. Everyone just kind of stared at me. It was very awkward. And, uh, yep. Alright, you see, this trend of stealing, though, because, so, ac ac not stealing, accidental stealing, because I've, I've accidentally stolen, like, a couple things from different schools. This was my, in my elementary school days, I was walking out of our cafeteria, and at the end, they had these snacks that you pay extra for, and one got caught on my pants. I don't know how, but it literally got caught on my pants and just kind of came with me. And they thought I was doing some, like, fancy new way of stealing. And I'm like, no, it just got caught on my pants. Please don't hurt me. Please. 
and I didn't, I wound up not getting in trouble for it, because I was like, it, it just got stuck to my pants, I had no control over this. And by that, I mean I cried until they let me, <laughs> let me off scot-free, because that's what I did, I was very young at this time, this had to be also like first grade. I got a lot of stories. Not a, not, <laughs> Jesus. You see, now as I'm thinking about more and more stories about me, I realize how much I cried as I, when I was younger. Like, I cried a lot. Because, you see, I didn't have healthy co healthy he healthy coping mechanisms for, like, anything. So, am I stressed? Boom. Cry. Sad. Tears. Hap or angry. Tears. Confused. Also tears. <laughs> Gonna jump on this guy. <laughs> Listen, man. So, story time with me, except I tell three short stories in one episode. Do you like story times? Please tell me you don't, because I don't really keep doing them. No, actually, be honest if you like them or not. But, uh, yeah, that's school. I haven't, I, I don't go to either of those schools anymore. Not because, like, I got spelled or anything, I just graduated. God, that's a fishing rod. Rod, PvP, how dare he? Jesus. No, oh, it's a legend, never mind, it's a sweat. I say that even though I want to be a legend. But, like, a legend rank, to get legend rank, you need 5,000 something wins. A lot of wins. But, uh, yeah, that's probably going to be it for stories, now I'm just going to commentate for this episode, because I don't, I don't want to say all my stories in one episode, because otherwise, if I want to do more story times, I'm going to have to find more stories, or even, like, make stories. Not, like, make them up, like, cause the stories to happen, and I don't want to do that. I'm trying to think, is there any more interesting stories that aren't as important? I want to say I met someone famous in like some very stupid way. I probably I forget who it was. This was a while ago. Who was it? I know I met someone famous in a very stupid way. Matter of fact, I didn't even know they were famous. I didn't know who they were. My dad was like, "Do you know who that is?" I'm like, "No." And he's like, "That guy's famous." And I'm like, "Oh, that's cool." Rod, I missed the rod. I'm not even holding the rod. I'm like, rod, PvP. Yeah, I, I, I think, I think, it, no, I'm like, it wasn't an airport. That'd be stupid. I've only gone to an airport like three times in my life. That doesn't make sense. Four times. <laughs> I'm like, it has to be an even number. What am I talking about? Eh, I guess it doesn't. But I haven't really been anywhere. I've lived in the same place my whole life. Uh, I almost didn't actually. I almost lived in a complete other state. Um, I was almost a Florida man. Uh, yeah. I almost just fell right into the point there. You don't even need to place that block. It just makes it slightly better for you. He's gonna. He's about to jump. Oh god. Jesus. That man is just has like a really good gaming. Now nah, he's just got a really fast click. Oh god, is this him again? It is. It's him again. Watch. Oh, he's a car joint. He's not fun at all. <laughs> Sorry, he's a car. I don't know if you watch these videos, but I know you didn't subscribe when I asked you to, so you don't get a, you don't get liked. That's a joke. He's a car's a fine person. I'm like, wait, which one's the car? Oh God, he's a. This guy's. Lagging a while. 
Alright, he's actually not good at the game. He just had, like, a really fast, like, speed last game. Find out something different. Uh, I think this is probably gonna be the last round of this episode. I don't even know what episode this I'm on in anymore, but I'm still iron. Because it, instead of requiring 10 to rank up, it requires 30 each rank up. Which means the next one's probably gonna require, like, 50. Oh god, how did he already get to mid? Oh, it's a scout, never mind. Is it, oh my god. What a nerd. Whoa! Bro! <laughs> How do you heal so much? Because look at that, he was on... He was down here. He healed two and a half hearts, it didn't look like he gapped or potioned. Ooh, W. Yeah, I like that name. Oh, it's Pyro. It's Pyro. It's a Pyro that plays lava behind me, didn't it? I hate I hate that. Oh dang. That means they have like hold on. I wanna check this really quick. I wanna say that's like twenty thousand wins in sumo. Hold on. Dual shop. Okay, ten thousand wins in sumo. Jesus. Wait, I only have like a hundred wins. No, I only have like a hundred fifty wins. Sky Wars. My goal is to actually have like overall godlike, not just Sky Wars, but Sky Wars duels the duels are best at. What? What do you need a rank for? Oh, okay. How do you, how do people fly? I'm like, yeah, you do need you do need a rank, which is why I have this. You know what? I know what next video is going to be.